Hello, we would like to welcome you to an interview. So my name is Kylie. I'm also here with Duran, and we would like to wel welcome Helen, who is a business owner. So thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything that, how would you like to introduce yourself or anything you'd like to share with us? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much, Kylie and Duran, for uh, having me today. Uh, it's a really a great opportunity for me, and uh, thank you very much for that. Um, I'm happy to introduce myself in a few words. So my name is uh, Hélène, I'm 37, and I'm from France. Um, I'm currently living in the UAE uh, with my husband, he's from New Zealand. Uh, I have a master in communication, and I've been working as a consultant for the past uh, 12 years. So I've been working in Europe, Middle East, uh, North Africa, in the Asia Pacific region, and mainly for the nonprofit sector. And uh, I'm now launching my own business. Uh, so I'm a super young entrepreneur actually, because it's just the beginning of my uh, entrepreneurial journey. And uh, I provide uh, executive coaching for leaders to transform the way they communicate. That's, that, that's my main uh, target. And in terms of, uh, of services, uh, I provide one-to-one uh, -one coaching. Uh, and my aim is to develop targeted plans for each of my clients. And I'm also experienced in navigating the complexities of multicultural working environments because, you know, I've lived in Europe, in, Europe, in New Zealand, in North Africa, uh, so, and I'm not based in the UAE, but I know what it is to be um, different in the workspace and when you uh, are a foreigner that sometimes it can be quite a challenge to be confronted to a new culture. So, uh, because I've been confronted to that, I want to um, make a positive contribution uh, and to develop the that's ki that kind of skill, basically. That sounds really awesome. So what was the reason that you first wanted to start a business? Um, so the reasons, uh, well, I think the turning point for me was when uh, in early 2020, uh, I was living in Tunisia, in North Africa back then, and I provided communication training for NGOs in Tunisia. And it was very powerful because uh, I loved the opportunity to create a positive impact for motivating young professionals. And the fact that I was able to share my knowledge, experience and skills, uh, I started thinking, oh, maybe I should, I should pursue that. Uh, maybe there is something I could develop around that. Um, and after the training I provided, I received very positive feedback. Uh, so I think it really encouraged me to um, think a little bit more about what I could uh, do uh, in terms of training. And, and uh, uh, yeah, so I think it, 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 worked like, it, it started like that. And um, also, I want to be able to share my international experience. Um, and um, I also want to um, be more flexible, uh, I think, with my professional life, because, I mean, I've been living um, as an expat, expat since 2011. So I left my country uh, 10 years ago. And I've I've lived in four countries in 10 years, so when you arrive somewhere, you need time to settle in and to find a new job, and uh, and then I have finally the, the balance I'm looking for, and then I need to live again. So um, I think by becoming uh, an entrepreneur and be, and uh, developing my own, own business, I will be able to be more flexible. And also, I want to be able to maintain a balance between my uh, private and professional life, you know. 
Yeah. So throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, you mentioned a lot about impacting others and reaching out to others while also traveling and having a vast impact around the world. What kind of, you know, maybe challenges have you faced professionally throughout, like, in the business world? Uh, well, uh, actually, I've, I've faced a few challenges like, most people, I would say. Um, I think for me, it was the fact that um, because I want to provide coaching uh, services to my clients, uh, I've realized that because of COVID-19, um, most of the meetings I have are on Zoom. Uh, and uh, you know that Sometimes it can be quite challenging in terms of technical issues. Uh, can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, I think one loves it. Oh, you are frozen. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have been confronted to that as well. Um, so, and also when you meet someone and you you need to train that person and to uh, give. Uh, a coaching session to that person it can be challenging when it's through a screen basically because um, video meetings are not like in-person meetings you know you don't you don't have the same uh, dynamic basically or the same interactions uh, you can't see the body language uh, you can see a part of it but not everything um, and, and because of that, it can be a challenge. And also in terms of communication, um, you don't communicate the same way through a screen, you know? Uh, so it has a tendency to um, change the way that people communicate to each other. Um, and I think after a year now, we are more used to it, but... Uh, I think we are still learning and I think we have many things to discover to be able to manage that because because of COVID-19 uh, most meetings now are, are online and, and um, you, need, you need to adjust the way you talk to people and the way you communicate with them uh, but I think in terms of challenges, um, I've also noted that for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm my own boss and I've always worked for others and then suddenly I'm in charge of, of everything basically, uh, which is quite exciting and positive, but, but it's also a big responsibility. Um, so... And uh, I think the other challenge I thought about was how to market myself to my target audience. Um, because basically I've just finished a training course to become an entrepreneur and a coach. So I know the, the technical part of it. I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, and I've started using my social media channels to market myself, to reach my target audience. Um, but it takes time. And, and I think as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, when you launch your own business, you have to be patient uh, because uh, you need time, basically, to... to to set the right foundations for your business.